All right, well, the dial works is finishing drawing. We're loosen this up a little bit, get some slack. Then, next here, take off the top section, lower it over to the side. That works pretty well. Now we're going to drill this hole out. Now, this is a three millimeter rod that I've been using for the dowel rods, and like I said, this one broke off. I'm going super slow and not pressing too hard. Having limited success so far. Press a little bit harder. I'm going super slow and not pressing too hard. Having limited success so far. Press a little bit harder. All right, here's my solution. The drilling didn't really work because uh, the acrylic rod is harder than the plastic, so it's just pushing to the side. That's not going to work. So my solution is that the um, quick disconnect arm, when it gets down, it would stop. It goes down partway onto the section four, which is where the gap, where the uh, break is. So that'll help stabilize the top of this tower. Um, and once the bottom is super solid, and if I bump this, it's just going to wiggle around a little bit like this. So I'm going to leave that alone and hope for the best. And if something else happens, I'll have to figure out another way to fix it. Yeah. We're going to glue the bottom of this tower into here. Then it'll be super strong. So again, if you didn't want to glue it, or even if you were gluing it, the way to do it is, is to have these plastic rods going down into this base and sticking way up as high as, the, high as you want, at least, at least half of this length, at least five, 50 millimeters up, enough to go through a few sections. And then um, uh, there would be no problem keeping this thing stable. So these magnets or even the, our short uh, dowel rods are just not, not uh, don't have enough uh, strength or um, um, leverage to keep this in place. But so this is a point of no return now. We've got everything oriented in the right way. We've tested it a few times. This is the side away from the rocket. So it's the end, end of the line here. Let me glue in all these wells here. Sure, I got that one. Okay. Then we're going to press down. Oh, we can also put it in these little uh, places where the triangles go. It's probably too dark for you to see what I'm doing, but in the top of the base, there's uh, little wells where the triangles on the bottom. this down. We're going to hold it. It's never coming apart again. All right. So hold that for at least a minute. Make sure we don't get any glue on our line. That's going to be a disaster. So, it's, so it looks like we're clear. This side got a bit of glue on it, but this is the fixed side, so it doesn't matter. All right. So it's had a chance to dry. Now when we push it, it's very stable. At least we push down here. Up here, it's a little more wiggly. But it basically wants to return to, I'm deflecting it pretty far here. It wants to return to its uh, solid position, so hooray. All right, so now, uh, and like I said, when we're transporting it, we'll, we'll slide this uh, quick disconnect up, take this off, flip it over the side like this, and we've, we've set it up, we'll put it back like this. Just put these, cords so they're kind of connected they're in, held within this little section here and we'll, glue, we'll put it like this it's held by two magnets here and here and then two one dowel rod on this side and nothing on this side so we're stuck with that all right so now we're going to go ahead and put it together with a rocket and see 
Uh, we have one more thing to do. We have to put these shields on. So we'll put the shields on, and then we'll uh, assemble it with the rock and see the final, the final setup. All right, we kind of break. We kind of break on connecting the sections together. So look carefully at this diagram. We're going to put these uh, pipe shields on. This is the piping that goes up to the quick disconnect arm, protects it from the rocket uh, exhaust. And the last section goes spans between section four and five. So if we look carefully here, get this out of the way now. So here's the quick disconnect arm when it's all the way down is right here. And um, you know what, I'm not even sure that's true, but in any case, I can put this connector right here, snap it in, and it'll stay in there, and then it can come down. Now that's acting as a brace between section four and five, and now it's super stable. So we can't glue this one in place, but what we can do is we can glue the rest of them below this, and this is the last one, and then we'll just keep this separate. And then once we get to the field, we'll snap this piece in and lower the quick disconnect arm over it, and all of a sudden, this joint is a lot more this joint is a lot more stable. It's like the, <clears throat> it's super stable. It's almost as if it's glued. So this is this this is the side that doesn't have the um, uh, dowel rod, so that makes it extra stable now in this corner. So that's a super break. So. We're going to leave that one there, and then we're going to glue the rest of these. Because remember, from sections four on down, this is all glued already. So we're just going to glue these in place all the way down. And then um, this will this is a, a lifesaver here for our problem. So. All right, so we'll just put some glue in these little slots here. And then... Make sure they're going the right direction. Yeah, this way. You don't have to glue your gloves or your fingers. There. Easier said than done, so. Okay, so that's that one. So I'll just go down the line and glue the rest of those. Yeah, I don't have to show that, so. All right, well, technically, the pipe uh, covers are supposed to go down to this level here, so there's only one level. There's only two levels that aren't covered, but we're not going to do that, so... Because we're using that one as a brace. Okay, so it isn't going to affect my use of the outreach of the model, so it's fine. All right, now we need to put on the uh, shields on this side of the rock, of the tower, to shield it from the exhaust from the rock. So these, there's three on each side. Yeah, there's three going up each side, and they all... I'm going to go the same way with the, the um, angles this way. So I'll put a little bit of glue. I'm just going to dry fit this one. Yeah, so it snaps in the same way as the other one. So I don't want to. I, I, I dry fit these and then push them back out from the sink on the other side, but I don't care to do that. So just a little bit of glue in these little slots here. snaps in there so you don't have to hold it very long. So three on each side. All right, well the shields are drawing. I'm going to try using this stick. I got this stick. It's a uh, platinum gray by Phil Stick. I'll put a link to this Mohawk Phil Stick. So it's supposed to be for filling in uh, paint or uh, wood. And it did a pretty good job of filling out a little gap in there. So. I'm just going to go around and fill some of these gaps to make it look a little bit better. Right, I don't know if I, I think I've showed this when I finished printing it, but it's got this, it doesn't really stick together particularly strongly, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some uh, duct tape across the back here, but I'll do that after I put everything together and make sure it fits okay. Now we're going to put the tower in its little area. It's nice. It's nice and snug in its little little uh, slot here. Here's the launch mount. Let's see. Which side goes which way? This way. No. 
way. This way. Okay, so it only goes in one way. <laughs> That's good. Okay, and the magnet, oh yeah, the magnet for the uh, quick disconnect for the uh, booster is right here. So we haven't seen the booster lately either. So here's the booster. And the quick disconnect, which is right here. Let's see. Maybe is that, is that the side? I think this is the side that goes this way. We'll find out. So that goes in our little slot here. There's the booster. Now we're going to get the rocket. We'll move this quick disconnect out of the way and the chopsticks out of the way. All right, so now we've got our uh, starship. I'm keeping this bag because the um, uh, uh, the, the little the fins come off easily, so you don't want to lose those. So we'll put these fins on. There's the fins. There's the bottom fins. Now, of course, this this model is slightly. I have this backwards. Slightly off from what it is now. The, the latest, the latest uh, Starship is going to have the fins more on the leeward side to protect them, but that's okay. All right. So now this has to go this way. So the quick disconnect. There, yeah, it's like that. I'm going to rotate this around a little bit. All right, so the quick disconnect has to come in here. It's going to go down slightly and go right in here. So we can fuel. So we can fuel the rocket, the, uh, the starship. Now the chances will come in here and be able to hold on to this so it doesn't tip over. I'll probably move it up a little bit. All right, it looks like a star base. I hope you enjoyed this. It's, it's been more like a uh, uh, a live stream instead of a my, one of my regular videos because there's just so much work to do. I wanted to not. I'm not sure what to leave out and what to edit out. So it's gonna be mostly like a live stream, and you can decide to run it at uh, 1.x speed or something like that. that. That's what I usually do on live speeds on live streams. So. Anyway, Super Happy Hour came out. And thanks again to More Than 3D. He's a superstar uh, designer. All right, before I wrap things up, I want to go over how much it cost in both time and materials to build this star base project. So here's my spreadsheet. And this, the PLO costs here are tied into the costs that I pay. Uh, I've paid for the different PLA that I use for this project. So I'm buying this PLA from my products on my store, so I'm buying in bulk, so I'm getting a little bit lower price maybe than other people, but similar pricing. And it says how much PLA I use for each each uh, part of the project. So there was parts printed in black, silver, gray, burnt orange. Those are the engines. Some hidden parts. I just picked my cheapest filament for that. And the gold base. That's the base that all the pieces, the uh, orbital launch mount and the orbital launch tower fit into to give you a complete display. Also got the magnets I bought and the bearings. And um, for dowel pins, I didn't buy the metal dowel pins that he uh, recommended. He said I used acrylic rod, as you saw in the videos. And I guess cut it to the length I needed. And then for weighting the base, I used these BBs that I already had. And I used uh, Loctite super glue. And to fill in some of the gaps on the tower to make it look better, I use this uh, flick stick, which is a, a, a fill putty. And then I also bought some wax cord to do the uh, draw works. And I also kept track of how much time it took to do it. So the total amount of printing time was a little over almost 165 hours total, which is about 6.87 days. And the cost of the filament was about $30. Cost of the STL files. Uh, as, uh, More than 3D is based in the UK, so this was the translated uh, rate from pounds to dollars. And I uh, also kept, uh, totaled up the, the amount I spent on magnets and bearings and uh, super glue and so forth. So the total of everything, grand total, was $192.25. So that's, you know, 
it's it's not accurate to the nearest penny, but it's it's close. Let's say so. I seem to remember they were selling the whole thing for three hundred and fifty, four hundred dollars, something like that. I can't remember. Now, you, you you could buy a pre-printed version and just have them ship it to you. But it was a very interesting project and uh, well worth my time, I think, because I've been using it for my outreach events. And so I, if you're interested in SpaceX and space exploration, then I think it's a good project to work on. It is very challenging, as you might have seen from all my trials and tribulations of uh, printing it and particularly the assembly part was uh, very challenging. Anyway, that's wrapping up for here and uh, good luck on your printing in, in the future. One more thing as long as I'm here I want to show you. is This is my uh, model I'm making. This is a one-third size um, uh, heat, heat shield tile. So it's designed after the actual heat shield tiles that are on the uh, Starship. So I'm selling this on my Etsy store. You can check it out. I'll put a link in the show notes. So I'm using this along with this model to explain to people how the Starship works. So this is a, another part of my kit that I keep together to uh, keep things going. And to go along with it, I bought some, I'm not selling this, I bought some uh, chunks of the actual, uh, the actual heat, sheet tile, heat shield tiles from the very first launch that where the rocket exploded. And a bunch of pieces landed in the Gulf of Mexico and people went out and salvaged them. So this is a uh, salvaged heat sheet tile. So I have this. He also sent a little sticker, which was nice. And I've got my model, and of course I've got the rocket now. So all those three together are going to enhance my explanation of what the Starship is doing. All right, one last thing. I figured out why the uh, this, this uh, post here is not pointing directly at the rocket is because... When it's lifting the rocket, let's get this out of the way. When chops are lifting the rocket, they have to be able to swing over here and lift the rocket from the ground. Come up and then swing it over and drop it on the uh, booster. So that's why it's not pointed directly at. So this, this orientation is correct. I assumed it was. I just didn't, didn't figure out exactly why until just now. So anyway, here's my f final rocket. I've got the uh, Starbase stand, the... Um, launch mount, the orbital integration tower, the booster, and the Starship rocket. I also got my replica uh, heat shield tile and my actual heat shield tiles salvaged from uh, Starship uh, test launch number one. So there we go. The debut is tomorrow night. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Post a comment if you have any questions or ideas, and I'll try to respond. That's all for now, but more videos are coming, and if you want to see them, please subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification icon if you don't want to miss one. This is Beta Signy signing out, and keep looking up.